The Senate's to-do list next week, another chunk of President Obama's jobs bill. This one is infrastructure investment. The slimmed-down bill includes $50 billion for roads, rails, and bridges, as well as $10 billion for a new national infrastructure bank. One thing that's missing, though, is increased investment in ports, which accounts for more than 9 million U.S. jobs last year. So as part of our continuing series, The Race to Rebuild, we're joined tonight by Kurt Noggle of the American Association of Port Authorities. Kurt, thanks for joining us tonight. Happy to do it. Thank you. What's wrong with our seaport infrastructure in this country, and how much will it take to fix? Well, the, we have problems on both the land side and the water side uh, connections. Uh, our uh, seaports in the uh, United States are investing a little over $2 billion in their infrastructure, the terminal facilities. But where we're falling down on the job is the federal investment on the land side connections, that first mile into and out of port facilities, and significantly on the federal navigation channels, the water side access into and out of our port. How much are we talking about? Well, in terms of the uh, water side access, we need to spend about a billion and a half dollars a year. There is a tax collected on the users of that channel that collects about a billion and a half. Unfortunately, uh, just a little over half of that is being appropriated right now, so we need to fully utilize that, about a billion and a half dollars a year. We also need to spend about 200, 250 million dollars a year to improve those federal navigation channels to be able to accommodate the larger vessels that are on international trade. Now, I'm going to ask a question like Larry would ask it. I mean, our government at this point, we all know the fiscal problems we face right now. We have a super committee meeting to try and cut $1.2 trillion from our budget, and then some people are calling for $4 trillion. The fact is we can't afford a lot of things that we are paying for right now. So the question I ask you is why do we need to look to the government to fix things like we're talking about right now? I, I equate it with the air traffic control system right now. They've tried to offload that whole system. It's antiquated, but the government doesn't want to put the money up for that. So why should we expect the government to improve the infrastructure when maybe private enterprise could do it? There is a lot of private investment uh, ongoing right now and uh, in terms of the, the port facilities themselves. In terms of the, uh, the investment that the public ports themselves are doing, a lot of that is with private terminal operators, private capital, etc. But uh, under our Constitution, the federal government has the unique jurisdiction and responsibility for the federal navigation channel. The private users of that channel are paying the tax to uh, fund that maintenance, and we think that tax should be fully utilized for that purpose. One of the hot-button issues in Washington is being able to create jobs with whatever money they're spending. Would this create more jobs? Uh, the, the trade flowing through those ports right now represents about 13 million jobs. There would be significant jobs both in the short, short term in terms of uh, the, uh, the, 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 the investment in the federal navigation channels as well as the land side access, those uh, that first mile into and out of ports would create a lot of jobs in the short term, but more importantly would be able to create and sustain more long term jobs because of improving our international competitiveness. Ten seconds. Do you think it's going to be uh, approved in the Senate? Will this pass? I think this bill is, uh, is difficult given the concerns about the funding mechanism. We think what's really important is a long-term reauthorization of our surface transportation that can fund this on a more long-term sustainable basis. Kurt Noggle, thank you for your insights and, uh, and what is it?